hello guys welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl benny empire skincare yes and today's video will be making a salicylic acid toner okay okay this is basically for people with acne prone skin if you're having severe acne you can use um this toner you can start by using it three to four times weekly and then adjust using every other day okay so guys at this junction if you've not uh subscribed yet to my channel please do well to subscribe to my channel like my video comment anything you want me to talk about or we teach about and i will do just that okay so let's dive into the video please guys make sure you always um sanitize your environment your working space make sure it is well sanitized okay so let's start um measuring out our ingredients we'll first of all measure our face a salicylic acid salicylic acid is a bha okay and it's very very good for fighting acne it dries out your acne okay so guys we'll be using this um salicylic acid we'll be having to dissolve it with um our solvent so that it becomes soluble in water so that we can use water with it it's also, it's actually an oil soluble ingredient so let's see so we'll be needing a one percent of um, salicylic acid yeah we'll be needing one percent in this our product so that um, it can be used daily like I said and it can be minimal enough for um, sensitive skin okay guys so over to the next ingredient we'll be needing our propanidio 1-3 okay this is what we'll be using to dissolve our salicylic acid it is a solvent and it's also a humectant. It is very, very good. I love using Propane Dio and my products because it has a wonderful humectant benefit. Okay, so I love it. We will be needing um three percent of one three Propane Dio in this formulation. You can go high if you wish, but I'm not. I just like using three percent mostly in my formulations. So we're just gonna um, quickly go in with our spatula and then mix this. Okay, we're gonna mix it thoroughly. You you see that it won't just dissolve easily like that. So what we we'll do is that we're gonna put this in a double boiler for just a few minutes and then it will properly dissolve without leaving any trace in it again. So guys, I just brought this out of the double boiler. You can see it looks like a creamy thick um, paste. Uh, but it's going to clear up once I add um, our propylene glycol. So we'll be adding propylene glycol in this um, phase. So we'll be adding our propylene glycol in this phase, okay, to make sure this um, salicylic acid solution is clear, okay actually propylene glycol also work as a solvent and as a penetration enhancer okay so we needing just two percent in of this in our formulation yeah so we just give this a quick mix we'll just stir this and make sure it properly mixed and clear you can see how after adding the propylene glycol how clear our solution looks like okay so now you can see that the salicylic acid is properly dissolved it's properly dissolved we're just gonna uh, keep this aside and then measure out our phase B ingredient okay
we are, we are going in with our alentian powder alentian is an anti-irritant okay in this um, product it's going to prevent any form of irritation that um, salicylic acid might want to give it's going to reduce the tendency of irritation so we'll be needing um, 0 0.3 0 .3 of this Okay, guys, so this is um, sodium metabisophite um, powder, it's a collecting agent. Okay, so we'll be needing 0.1% of this. So guys, our next ingredient will be methyl sulfonyl methane (MSM). It's a good anti-acne ingredient and also an anti-inflammatory ingredient. It is very good. It is an organic soul for. So we'll just be using um three percent of this. Okay guys, so our next ingredient is glycerin. So we're using vegetable glycerin, um, 5%. So another ingredient we'll be using is sodium lactate. Like I always say, sodium lactate is being used as a percentage of three below, act as a humectant. okay? So we'll be using just 2% in this formulation. So guys, and of course, we'll be going in with our distilled water. We'll be using 71.2% um, of distilled water. So guys, we're just going with our spatula to, you know, mix everything. It just mix, 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 mix face B very, very well. You have to make sure everything is totally dissolved in this um, face B. So guys, you can see how clear it is. Okay. There's nothing, there's no particles in it anymore. So we'll just step this aside and mix our face A into our face B. So after we've mixed our face A and uh, face B ingredients, you see we've just mixed it thoroughly to make sure everything is incorporated well. So we are just going to get ready to add our face C ingredient being lactic acid and liquid jama plus. So I like using uh, my liquid charm absorbers at zero, um, anything below 0.5% for my facial product just to avoid any form of irritation or reaction. So I'm using 0.4% for this formulation. Okay so guys, lastly I'll be adding lactic acid to this. 
just to boost the exfoliation that comes with this um, tuner so I'll be using 2% of my elastic acid solution please this um, usage rate depends on the strength of the lactic acid you're using so I'm just gonna mix everything together and mix give it a final stir and then get ready to check um, the pH level So I'll be going in with my pH meter to check the pH of my product. You can use a pH strip if you if you have if that's the one you have. The end product can be from anything 3.8 to 4.5. That's okay. Mine is 3.62. So I'm just gonna add um, a light solution to it just to boost it up a little. So I'll just be adding a few drops of my light solution because I don't want this to go too high. Okay, so I just added a few drops of this. Just give it a stir before you check the pH again. So I'm just going to check the pH of my product again after adding the light solution to it. You see it's reading 3.71 it's fluctuating I'll just let it finish reading so that we can get the final reading okay you can see that the final reading is 3.80 which is okay it's very very okay so you can package your product if you want it a little bit higher than that you can adjust so I'll be using this 100 ml containers to package the product Make sure your containers are sterilized already. You sterilize your containers beforehand, before making your product, to avoid introducing bacteria to your product. So I'll just put the containers um, bottle stopper and make sure it's properly locked to avoid any form of leakage and then just seal this up and your blemish control tuner is ready like I said guys you can start using it three to four times um, a week before you increase or build it up to every other day this product is best used at night because it contains AHA and BHA in it. And make sure you're using your sunscreen during the daytime while using this product because it actually makes your skin more sensitive to the sun. Alright guys, so if you like this video, please do well to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment, share my posts and you, you'll be seeing videos like this, like I'm going to be updating videos like this more often. Alright guys, thank you.